Hezbollah threatened Israel and Cyprus with missile and drone attacks and warned about new war. Hezbollah is prepared for a full-scale conflict with Israel, the Shia militia's head Hassan Nasrallah has said. He also warned Cyprus that it could be targeted if it hosts Israeli forces. Nasrallah gave a televised speech following a memorial service for Hajj Sami Taleb Abdullah, a senior Hezbollah commander who had been killed in an Israeli strike on southern Lebanon earlier this week. The enemy knows it must expect us on land, in the air and at sea, and if war is imposed, the resistance will fight without constraints, rules or limits, he said, adding that there will be no place safe from our missiles and drones. The current confrontation is the greatest battle since 1948, the year Israel declared independence and will change the face of the region and shape its future. Nasrallah said, The Shia militia that controls much of Lebanon has prodded Israeli troops in Galilee since October the 7th last year when West Jerusalem declared war on Hamas in Gaza. The intermittent rocket attacks on both sides of the border have driven more than 53,000 Israelis and almost 100,000 Lebanese from their homes. Hezbollah is striking Israeli positions within a certain and specific schedule, Nasrallah claimed, noting that the group has a very, very large amount of information about Israeli fortifications, numbers and deployments, referring to Tuesday's release of drone footage of the port of Haifa. According to Nasrallah, Hezbollah has all the weapons it needs to strike targets inside Israel, including previously undisclosed weapons that have yet to be used on the battlefield. The group is also well supplied with drones and rockets. Nasrallah also threatened Cyprus for the first time, telling the government in Nicosia that the country opening its airport and bases to the enemy to target Lebanon means it has become part of the war. He claimed that Israel had secret plans to use airfields in Cyprus should its own airbases be disabled by Hezbollah strikes. The Israel Defense Forces announced that it had finalized operational plans for an offensive in Lebanon. Responding to U.S. calls for constraint, Israeli Foreign Minister Israel Kadz said his country was very close to the moment when we will decide to change the rules of the game against Hezbollah and Lebanon, adding that in a total war, Hezbollah will be destroyed and Lebanon will be hit hard. Israel's last major confrontation with Hezbollah was in 2006 when a ground offensive into southern Lebanon resulted in high casualties and no military gains. Putin fears his plane can be shot down even in Russia. He flies everywhere in a company of fighters. Russian President Vladimir Putin has started flying with fighter jets even around Russian regions. Previously, military aircraft accompanied him only on foreign trips, writes the agency. Vladimir Putin flew to Yakutsk on June the 18th. Residents of the city published several videos and photos on social media with a fighter jet accompanying his plane. As military analyst Yan Matveyev told the agency, the footage shows an Su-30SM. The agency analyzed the feeds of state agencies and telegram channels and found no reports since the beginning of the war about fighter jets accompanying the Russian president's plane during visits to Russian cities. In January 2024, before Putin's visit to Kaliningrad, Dmitry Peskov was asked whether the president would be accompanied by fighter jets, but he avoided answering this question. The media regularly writes about fighter jets accompanying Putin during international missions. This was the case during his flights to Belarus in December 2022, in November 2023 and in May 2024. Kazakhstan and Uzbekistan in May. In December 2023, the Russian Defense Ministry even published footage of Su-35 fighter jets that accompanied Putin's plane during a flight to the UAE. Peskov then explained that this was done for security reasons. The region is restless, and if the UAE and Saudi Arabia are stable, safe countries, then the surrounding area, the adjacent region, is certainly full of danger and unpredictability. Earlier, the media reported that Vladimir Putin began wearing a bulletproof vest at public events. At the same time, the Kremlin officially states that there is no need to increase security measures for the president. In particular, Press Secretary Dmitry Peskov, commenting on the assassination attempt on Slovak Prime Minister Robert Fico, said in mid-May that security measures remain at the regular level.